All right, he is on. Go ahead. Oh. Yes! Yes! Oh my God! All right, I'm gonna try reversing it. Oh my god, it moved forward and backwards. There we go. Hello there, boys. So Mustang still ain't started yet. Um, we tried charging the Mustang system because it's been set in a while um, with the old GMC. Well, that didn't work. So, there's a communication error which is happening. So, Davis, come explain the issue to the viewers. It did. It, it did. It did. It no work. Well, it no work yet. You get in the Corvette now. Yeah. Game over. Game over. We're scrapping it, getting a Camaro or a Corvette. We're getting rid of both of them. Me and Davis so, are both getting new cars. And the last part. No, we... just to have one Corvette with two seats and two driver wheels. Oh, yeah, I get rid of this thing for a C6 Z06. Um, you get rid of that thing, I'll get rid of that thing, we'll both get new cars. Yeah. That's a good idea. Start so, new. in the last episode, or last video, or part, whatever, we uh, replaced the lead frame and the, you know, transmission. Now the computer's reading right. Checked the computer, tried different tunes, no error codes, nothing. <clears throat> and I got the new tune on the engine, and when I turn the key, it just clicks. I don't hear the starter, I don't hear anything, so I, my thought process is three things. It could simply be the battery because it's been sitting for like two weeks, not running. I mean, we did have it on the truck charging and it did show 13 volts when it was going, yeah. but you take it off and it immediately just plummets. I personally think that that's like probably the lowest. How old is the battery? Have you changed it yourself? No. Okay. Next next thing I'm thinking could be the neutral safety. Could be the neutral safety. Um, I did run my blue driver on it and it, it scans all the modules, gives me everything. There are no codes on here indicating anything to do with problems with the ECU or anything like that. All it told me was some ABS stuff and then, uh, what was it, just my key in the ignition. Yeah. But Tristan was saying when the battery's low voltage, it can just show random shit like that. Um, well, or you, it could be the tune because... Uh, you guys got to see his uh, his setup. I've showed it several times. Oh, you have on video? Okay, I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. So that's only showing stuff because it's plugged into the laptop. My laptop's powering it. It's not giving it its full power, though, so that's why it's showing error three or whatever um yeah so or it could be the tune itself because um when i was doing troubleshooting i reverted the tune back and my car was having some issues so i called sct and they told me that it was a tune but i trust leo more than sct and leo told me everything should be in order for it to work it shouldn't so, be the tune you know because like the car ran before the yeah. tune or like or before the the swap and it's the same motor same everything except the transmission but like the transmission shouldn't yeah, even be true. talking to the pcm right no Should they're be, not talking at all so it's because it, because that, that computer does everything that's, that's all i'm saying is if it didn't like the tune that's on it for whatever reason is not actually making it think it's a manual is the only thing but i don't think that's true because i would be getting error codes right now telling me that it can't talk to the transmission so i'm thinking the tune's in order i'm very confident that the the wiring's in order. <clears throat> That's something just to check. Um, my only thing is the battery, so we might just check the battery. I don't know. Vince wants to put his battery in and see if it runs, which isn't a bad idea. Past that, um, I'll be checking the wiring to the neutral safety because it should be grounded in park and neutral. And I just wired it exactly how I was directed to. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Uh, it, all in all, it should run. It should just fire up. It doesn't matter. I right. think if we're swapping we batteries. We put both of them together, let them on fire, yeah. claim insurance, we go get our new cars. Yeah. Wait. We'll have to cut this. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, have to, we'll have to cut this part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be insurance fraud. Yep, so, which uh, we don't intend to do. Right. So suddenly I'm cars burn down. the battery and we'll just see if it works with yours, I guess. Yeah, so these are what we had a wire into. So you can see some of the wires. So like those are the ground wires. That is this tachometer. And this gray one is the neutral safety. Okay. So we can double check that too. But uh, yeah, it's all good. That's the one I put in from the Swagon. Right, D? Oh. It looks kind of mangled, but it's fine. It's... All yeah. right. Well, we'll come back with more progress. All right, guys. Uh, with the Mustang, we're still diagnosing it. We think we've somewhat 
like determined what the problem is. It is just something with the neutral safety. It should just be running. Um, I did wire it how they told me to, but uh, just something with it. I'm talking with Lido and he's having me try bypassing the starter entirely. I don't know if I did it right, to be honest. As far as I can tell, we've done everything right up top side. So I'm gonna get under the car, check the starter, make sure everything's unplugged. When we did the transmission swap, we didn't touch it. We just unbolted it from the transmission. Um, so there shouldn't be any problems with that, but just in case there is anything, I'm gonna double check it. All right, guys, uh, so what we've found is this fuse right here, I took it out. This is a starter relay. So we're gonna jump this line right here between that pin and this pin. And uh, we're gonna see if it engages the starter. I checked the battery voltage and it was really low. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give it a shot here. So one sec. All right, key is on, go ahead. Oh. Yes! Yes! Oh my God! It started! Here, should we put the relay back in? There's only smoke because of the transmission fluid. No, that's not true. Oh, no? No, tons of people, but like, not many people have it. It's only smoking because of uh, tranny fluid that's on the headers. No big deal. Yeah. But she lives! Finally. Oh my god. Here, let's see if it moves. Oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna try reversing it. Woo! It moves. Go through all the gears. Oh my god, it moved forward and backwards. There we go. Hell yeah. Okay, we still need to fill it with tranny fluid though. So that's first gear. Lurch forward? Yeah, that. Second gear. Drive. Oh my god, guys, I'm so happy. We've been dealing with so much shit, but we still have to figure out the relay. I don't want to start it that way yeah. every <laughs> single time. It will require like multiple people. Okay, park. Oh my god. Oh, we need to figure out this relay. Oh my god. Well, I, I don't know what we're going to... I think we're going to just do some... I'm going to do more troubleshooting on this. Basically, it's a whole mess with everything. Just to get it running, but I mean... Look at that. It moves forward and backwards. And the uh, 6R80 is working. Alright, I'm going to turn it off real quick. Oh. So it will run and move, it just uh, something Needs sucked to up with the wiring. Yep. That's preventing the starter from engaging without forcing. Yeah. I'll have to tell Lito that. So, uh, we uh, pulled uh, 22. So yeah, so what's 21? 21 is fuel pump. So that is Okay, what's, what's 24? Here, actually. Because we could just swap them. Fuel pump will just won't go. So we'll just see if that works. Yep, yep okay. No. No luck, huh? So that's definitely not it. Not a bad relay. Couldn't be easy. So, Never I is. Mean, honestly, I will probably just drive it around with that just for the time being. Like, All right. What, what else should I do? I mean, I just don't want you to like be stranded on like for whatever reason, if the car turns off at like a red light, what are you going to do? You have to throw that bitch in park and then get out of your car and do this. That's true. I also need to figure out all this cabling stuff first too. That's true. Uh, is there is there a way that you'd be able to bypass this like the wiring we have, but without like having to do it every time? Put, like you did say a switch. Yeah. Maybe a switch, but I don't know. If, yeah. 
Well, if you had a switch, do you? Uh, the ideally is using what the manufacturer gave me and yeah. get the you know bypass working with the computer. So I mean, I can just call him tomorrow. It's running. It can drive. It moved on its own. It's true. Needs to go on a, a test drive for sure. All right, driving the Mustang. Is it a drive? Yep. Yep. Okay. There we go. Hold. There's a second. There's a second. There's a second. Here, you want to hold this? Tire pressure monitor system going off just because my uh, car has been uh, the rear is like messed up or something. Not seeing any leaks. She shifts pretty all right. What does it feel like under under throttle? Feels normal. You know, I mean, I can tell it's got a stall in it. Oh, okay. I forgot that you did that as well. So. I'm just trying to keep my eye, my ears open for everything. Yeah, the can. first drive after you do something to a car. This is total like, Frankensteining too. So yeah, true. It's real hot rodding. As you can see, no smoke is pouring out of the back of his car. There's no fluid on the ground. So I feel like we might be able to take it to our spot. Or at least get it on the, the road some more. Are any issues? No faults? Nothing? I think, oh yeah, car's running lean there. I don't want to bring it wide open throttle. Yeah. I need to start tuning with Lido, honestly. Okay, so this is on stock tune? This is the base tune that he base, gave me. Okay, base tune that he gave you. By the way, if any fellow fans live in the Pacific Northwest and anyone goes to Portland International Raceway, we go there a lot. So uh, definitely hit us up if you go there because we'd love to meet some people who watch our videos and just more car people, more yeah. friends is more better. So, so far, so good. What's the temp at? Here's the shifting, yeah. 136. So, it's pretty normal. Pretty good. Um, I, I put the camera down low what's so the, you guys could possibly what's hear. What's the battery at? I have no idea. Hover the over it. No, you're the actual... Oh, the battery of the, the laptop. 12 minutes. Okay. We should be able to make it there. <coughs> yeah. Possibly back if we're quick enough. So he's doing some data logging right now. This is for Lido. The and, lighting's really bad, so you're not yeah. guys aren't gonna see much, but but we're we're you know making it down into town, uh, going to a part store. What I said into place? town like we live outside of town. No, we live like literally two minutes away from here. Yep. And AutoZone's just another minute or two right there. Yep. So we're just doing some data logging. There was a weird noise that we think might be the drive shaft. If it starts making it, I'll put the camera down there and we'll be quiet so maybe they can hear it. But I doubt it's like a hissing noise, but we're not dropping any fluid as far as I can see. Temp is still going up. And it goes down when I when I slow down. Yeah, it was making more noise when you were kind of going faster, so we'll have to like when we're going 30, 40 miles an hour, then we'll have to see if they can hear it. But uh yeah. She works. So far, so Nothing, nothing's wrong yet. 140. All right, guys. Uh, it's been actually like a week and a half uh, since we ended filming where you last saw. Uh, we've been driving, or I've been driving around the Mustang actually um, to work and back and just normal daily driver uh, for about a week and a half. And uh, it's been working great actually. So um, I'll go ahead and show you the Mustang and show you put it back together and uh, kind of end off the video there. So here is the 6R80 swapped Mustang. Um, I got it cleaned up just a bit um, yesterday because it's been dirty and neglected since we've started the swap. The interior is all put back together. It's got the shifter and everything. Um, and then the computer, I've actually got some Velcro and I've tried setting it up right here. I actually kind of like the look of it, even though it's exposed, but I want to be able to see the dial. I want to be able to see the display on it. Most people uh, wire it up to sit about like right here and they keep their glove box open, but I actually keep stuff in my glove box. So um, I guess time will tell just how I decide to officially mount it. I'll probably just end up mounting it over here. It's up high enough where it's out of the, you know, passenger's foot range, basically. Up here in the driver's uh, seat area, I wire a button into the relay. 
basically when I press this, the car will turn over. So um, that means I just have to, uh, that just means I have to put in the key, turn it to the on position, fuel pump, everything will go, and then I will press that button and it turns it on. So just like an extra step, it's like, uh, imagine like an aftermarket push button system for these cars, pretty much the same thing. And then uh, let me show you under the hood. Most everything is just in the wire loom. Uh, I will need to pull some of these wires out once I want to do some more stuff like the uh, trans brake and the uh, paddle shifters. Everything's pretty much just wired together and heat shrinked and put all together. These are the wires I made to go into the relay for the push start. Um, I actually have not set up the dipstick. I just need some self-tapping screws to go into the firewall there. Checked it yesterday. Flue level's good. Checked at 180 degrees and uh, it's right up the thatch, so it's full. As for now, they'll pretty much conclude the 6R80 swap for the 3-valve Mustang. Um, just run running great, drive it every day, and taking it up to wide, wide open throttle, it shifts super fast. The benefit is it doesn't have to talk to the engine computer. It goes straight to the quick six and uh, just commands a shift, so it shifts even faster than a normal 11 to 14 Mustang with the 6R80 in it. And um, yeah, it's, it's super great, it stalls great. We're gonna be taking it to PIR, in about two weeks and we'll see what it does at the track naturally aspirated and then april it's gonna get superchargers so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and end off the video there like subscribe comment down below uh and uh if you guys want more in-depth detailed video on how exactly i got everything wired up uh and the tuning process i can certainly do that um but for now i'm definitely gonna end, end off the series here and uh yeah thanks for watching